being seen, being recognized is important to all of us. It's a tremendous boost to self-confidence. And when you get a prominent award like this from the European Liberal Forum, it also helps you to become visible to others. It's helped me to get more of an audience abroad, but also, interestingly, domestically as well. Uh, it says in the Bible that uh, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. And that might be true uh, because those who really love freedom tend to be in a minority in most societies. But together, globally, and in Europe, there are so many of us. And when people back home hear that somebody else out there thinks that you have something important to say, they tend to sit up and pay attention. I'm constantly inspired by those who fight for liberal ideals under more difficult circumstances. Look, I do this in Sweden. The worst thing that can happen to me is that someone calls me stupid on Twitter. So therefore I follow, I admire and I'm deeply impressed by those who keep up the good fight where there is less press freedom, where uh, there are authoritarian governments, dictatorships. And right now it's impossible not to be deeply inspired by the brave Ukrainians, indeed Russians, who continue to fight fiercely against Putin's tyranny, risking their own lives. I think we, who only risk our own reputations, owe it to them to make our voices heard. We're in a difficult situation right now, geopolitically, economically, culturally, because when people are afraid, they look to big governments and strong men for protection. Someone who will build walls and tariff barriers to keep them safe. We want a government to point us all in the right direction. But what happens if it accidentally points us in the wrong direction? The liberal challenge is to explain that we will only find solutions to our problems if we allow millions to look for them, to experiment, to try in open societies and on free markets. The great surprises and innovations that improve our world never came from the top, they always came from below. And here's my message to this year's winners. Luckily, there's fierce competition out there. Many impressive liberals who are doing great work. So you've done something right to make it this far. Remember that. You've given people new ideas and hope. People who live far from you. Keep that in mind when times are tough, because they will be from time to time. When our ideas are in the minority and people sneer at liberal ideals, it's easy then to lose faith and to fall silent. But that's when you're needed the most. So keep this award in a prominent place to remind yourself that you are not wrong and you are not alone. Congratulations. Thank you.